Hello fellow grower, I'm back again and welcome to my channel, The Late Grower. You're looking right now at my uh, avocado tree and uh, you see the last time in my last video I shared with you the problem that I had with this avocado and that was the leaves were getting uh, brown or drying up because of too much heat. It lost all of its leaves actually and uh, right now fortunately it is now growing new sets of leaves. Okay, as you can see. So the problem is uh, solved. This uh, avocado tree has uh, survived uh, the heat. Uh, it is now recovering because I uh, took it out of uh, direct uh, sunlight. So I placed it in a shaded area. Now, uh, just as I thought that my, that my problem is already solved, I noticed that I have another problem right now with this avocado tree. And that is ant infestation. Okay, if you look closely in the soil, the soil now has a lot of ants. Ants have made a colony of uh, this uh, avocado tree in a container. I just don't know where these ants came from, but I think uh, they found their way into this container. Uh, in the place that I put this, uh, there were holes in the ground, so I think... Uh, from the ground, the ants were able to find its way into this container and made a colony of, uh, of uh, this uh, container. Now, uh, having ants in your uh, garden, in your potted plant in particular, uh, there are many benefits also. Uh, one is uh, they help aer aerate the, the soil, so the holes that they make in the ground uh, helps in aerating the soil. Also, they uh, help in uh, killing some uh, insects okay but uh, the bad side is that uh, when you see ants it could also be a sign that uh, your plants have uh, aphids you see plants they uh, eat uh, saps or uh, nectars especially those uh, ex ex excreted or coming from aphids but since this avocado tree it still has very young uh, leaves and uh, I can see that it has no aphids yet so, right now, aphid is not my problem. And uh, although, as I said earlier, ants can be good in the garden, if they are making a colony of your uh, container, then that is also not a good sign. So, what I intend to do is to uh, eliminate them, or at least minimize them, so yesterday, what I did was to uh, hose this container with uh, water. Now, uh, one uh, good solution is to submerge the container in, a, in water. But since this is a 25-gallon container and I do not have a, a bigger container where I can submerge this, so what I just did was to hose this uh, container for about 30 minutes. So, uh, this soil actually is still wet now the red soil that you see here actually is a is coffee grounds okay uh, i've also read in some articles that uh, coffee grounds can help in eliminating uh, ants in the garden so i put uh, coffee grounds but it seems uh, coffee grounds are not doing uh, anything harmful to uh, the uh, ants right now the ants are not yet agitated uh, i have not yet uh, turned the soil so they're still uh, not uh, uh, moving that much but the moment I turn the soil you will see later that uh, they will uh, immediately crawl up and uh, look for something to bite now <laughs> I've been beaten several times already now so as I said one solution to eliminate them is by the use of uh, water but uh, since I do not have a container bigger than this uh, for this container to be submerged then uh, I must use other methods and uh, one other method that I would like to experiment right now is the use of baking soda and uh, sugar okay this one in particular baking soda and the use of uh, sugar okay now there are no black ants Now what I will do now is to mix equal parts of baking soda and sugar. Now uh, better to use uh, white sugar but since I do not use white sugar in my house, 
Uh, we only use brown sugar, so I think I'm sure. I'm, I think I'm supposed suppose, I think uh, it should work. No, so we're going to mix equal parts of sugar and uh, baking soda. Now, baking soda is uh, fatal to ants. They love sugar, so what we're going to do is to attract them to uh, uh, eat the sugar and uh, in the process also uh, ingesting the baking soda, which is uh, fatal to them. I don't know if it is uh, accurate, but uh, the term being used by uh, uh, other people, especially in articles I've, I've uh, read, is that uh, they explode <laughs> after ingesting the uh, baking soda. So, uh, I hope this uh, would work in eliminating most, if not all, of these uh, this, uh, red ants in my uh, avocado. Okay, so we have mixed the sugar and the baking soda. Hopefully, the ant won't be able to differentiate. And they will just gobble up this... Uh, mixture of uh, sugar and baking soda okay so we have now it uh, mixed and what i'm going to do is to place it here inside and it's time to turn the soil so they will uh, come out as i said there are lots of them they made a colony of uh, this uh, container I'm thinking of also using vinegar but uh, uh, it might be harmful to uh, the roots of uh, this avocado so I'm not using vinegar yet okay so I have turned the I have turned the soil and now you can see the ants coming out. They are already in the branches in the trunk of this uh, avocado tree. And some of them are already uh, in this uh, sugar and baking soda combination. You see how, how how many ants are there? And this is just the topsoil. Just looking at them, just looking at them gives me the goosebumps. You know? Okay. So, this is, uh, as I said earlier, by way of uh, experiment, I'd like to see if uh, this combination of uh, baking soda and sugar will be effective in uh, killing or eliminating the ants in this uh, container. Hopefully, uh, it will do the expected uh, job. So, later on, I will uh, give an update on how this uh, experiment uh, goes. Okay, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I don't want to uproot this uh, avocado tree right now. I'm trying to find the other solutions because uh, uprooting this avocado tree might not be good for it because I just transferred it here. So, hopefully this uh, sugar and baking soda combination will do its job. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will make an update of uh, this uh, experiment in the, the coming days to uh, show you the results. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye!